Hey everybody, Jason here. So today I'm going to do the A-frame tarp layout. Now the A-frame is a tarp shelter that's easy to do and requires little extra gear. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a line of paracord or rope as a ridge line, and then you're going to need at least four stakes or tent pegs. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so to do the shelter, we're going to set it up the same way that we did the basic lean-to by running a ridge line between two trees. Now we're gonna use a couple knots, and those are the bowlin and the trucker's hitch. I've got a couple videos on how to do that, and you can check them out in more detail. The description's down below. So to start off, we're gonna do a running bowlin off one tree. Okay, so with our ridge line anchored off one tree, I'm now just gonna run it over to my second tree and tie it off with a trucker's hitch. Now that I have my ridge line in place, I'm going to take my AquaQuest Sil Nylon tarp and I'm going to drape it over so that I have half on one side and half on the other side. The pros of this shelter is that it offers good protection from the rain or snow and the angle or pitch of the roof also allows snow and rain to run off of the tarp. The negatives of this shelter is that it doesn't have a floor and it's prone to sagging if the ridge line isn't tight enough. You're also exposed at two ends. So again, just like we did when we set up the basic lean-to tarp shelter, I'm just gonna pinch my ridge line, pass it through the middle tie out on the tarp and then put a stick through as a toggle and that'll hold it in place so it'll stop it from sliding. All right so now down at the other end I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a bite in my ridge line. I'm going to pass that through the tie off point in my tarp. And then I'm going to use a stick as a toggle. Again, that's going to stop the tarp from sliding. So now, to finish off the ridge line, I'm going to go back to the other end and tighten it all up with the trucker's hitch. Okay, so now that we have our ridge line nice and taut, we have our tarp attached to it, the last step is to take four pegs. Now we can use wooden stakes or tent pegs, and we're gonna peg out the four corners. Okay, so there you have it. Super simple to set up, A-frame tarp shelter. Now, if you're expecting heavy winds, I highly suggest you also add a peg in the center on each side of your tarp. All right, now, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and if you'd like to see more tarp shelters, then check out our playlist. Don't forget to leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.